This video is to show how to make a residual plot on a graphing calculator and to analyze um, the R value. So to start with, I've already entered some data. The L1 list shows the year since 1900. So obviously 10 is 1910, 1920 under L1. And then under L2 is the life expectancy of a male during that time. So after I enter the data, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I change my window setting. Um, I use Zoom 9, so this is the window setting that was given. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I make a line of best fit. So I'm going to hit Stat. I'm going to arrow over to Calc. I'm going to choose number 4. And I'm going to go down to store my equation under Y1. And this is a review from the lesson from a couple days ago. And as you can see, I have my slope is 0.42 roughly, and my y-intercept is about 44.25. Now the R value below there that shows 0.98 shows this is a very strong association. If I go ahead and graph this, you can see that um, it's a increasing linear relationship. So one of the things I want to show you is how to calculate a residual. So what you would do is you go back to stat and enter. You would like to put all the residuals for all your points uh, in L3. So you have to arrow up to the very top here. And then once you're there, you're going to hit second stat. You're going to choose number seven, which is residual. And then when you hit enter, the whole column fills in. And you, as you can see, that one dot is 5.79 away, um, I should say, above the line of best fit. So it has a higher um, prediction predicted value. Um, so if I want to analyze this a little bit more, um, what I could do is I could make a residual plot. To do that, what you need to do is you need to go to second y equals, and you want to change this plot up, up here, plot one. Uh, you want to go to your y list and change that to residual. So it's very similar to what we just did. You're going to hit second stat. And as you can see, number seven on this is residual. On some calculators, it might be under uh, one as residual, but wherever you see residual, you just push that, and now it shows up here on the Y list. Um, you want to hit Zoom 9 to change your window so you can, it'll fit the residuals better. So when I hit Zoom 9, you can clearly see that my window has changed. Let's click on that for a second. And, well, maybe slightly changed. But it was enough to see the residual. So I want to again go back to the graph. If you see a parent pattern to it, there might be a better model out there. And this is pretty scattered, but it does seem to have somewhat of a shape. So you might want to look at another model and see if there is one that fits the data a little better. But again, this is pretty scattered, but again, there does seem to be somewhat of a pattern um, to that. Now, if I go back and look at this graph one more time without the residual plot you need to go back and turn that y list back to l2 just to confirm um, but in the future lesson i'll be showing you how to choose another model or another another function family actually to see if there is a better fit out there so again i'm going to hit zoom 9 to go back to my original graph and oops thought i had zoom 9 that again. And as you can see, the R value of 0.98 is really good. I, I'm assuming that with this point out here, it's kind of bringing the data up. So um, maybe there's some kind of curvature that would fit better. And we'll, like I said, we will talk about that in the near future.